Today I'm going to be checking out Z-Plane Peel, which is a spatial spectral isolator EQ. Open up your sound. Visualize your recordings, identify and select part of the signal, solo mute or route the parts for external processing, which I think is quite an interesting feature. And Ableton Live is one of our included doors here, so I'm quite keen to check that out. I've just installed this, I haven't played with it yet, this is just a first impressions video, so let's go ahead and just load it up and have a look. Here it is here, quick load time. It looks like we can rescale it, make it nice and thin or wide or however you like. Very minimal GUI, I don't really see any buttons or anything. I'm assuming I just click and drag and there we go. That's our isolation square. We can resize this, move it up and down. Looks like that turns it on and off and I'm assuming this inverts it. Okay, let's get something happening here. I'm just going to load up an operator synth, just play a sine wave. And then we go a nice strong fundamental in the center as expected. What happens though if we give it some harmonics? So let me just go ahead and add a nice long note. Let's go here, we'll turn off the filter. I want to go and add some harmonics. So I'm going to go to my oscillator tab. There's one. There's two more. There they all are. That's pretty neat. So let's just go ahead and select a regular saw wave. So we can see our fundamental harmonics 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way up. Interested to see what the spread does because that will give it some space. It's quite neat seeing Ableton Live's um, spread parameter visualize. In fact, you know what, let's go ahead and add something else. Let's add a phaser flanger. I feel like this would be a cool effect. We'll just make one notch it, one notch. Let's make it really slow to start off with, bring the amount down. So there's our regular saw, and as we bring this up, we can get things moving around. Okay, let's just turn this off and do some isolation. So I'm just going to isolate the fundamental. Let's go up. It would be nice if I could make this a little bit narrower, maybe if I bring this... Okay, that's better. Fundamental. First harmonic. Okay, let's go ahead now and turn this phaser flanger back on and we'll pick a range. Let's just say here. We'll make it go a bit faster. So it's kind of capturing those harmonics as they sweep through this uh, capture point we've sent. Let's see if we could do the uh, external routing. So. I'm assuming we just go to an audio track, take the ex uh, external in, or the audio in from operator 1, and there it is, invert out from peel. So I'm going to go back here, inverse this, solo this, monitor in. Cool, so now we have the isolated signal coming through here. Let's just rename this, ISO, and we've got the original here. So now we should be able to do some stuff. Let's, um, let's just put a delay on this. Lots of feedback. I'm just going to boost it a little bit with a limiter. And now if we go back to this peel here. Awesome, now let's go and use this for what it was intended for. So I've got a track here which I've been working on with a woman called Marie Lorne. So let's just get that playing, let's load up a peel and let's start isolating some stuff. So you can already see I've got a lot of spatial stuff happening here. They're filtered and they're up here, so let's just solo them. Let's invert it. And the vocals are gone. Okay, let's go ahead and add another track and we'll take the audio from there and we'll take it from the um, isolated output. So now what we could do is we could we could do some spatial stuff. So I'm going to load up another peel here just for the visualization. You can see that the vocals which I've isolated are very centered. So if I go ahead and add, we'll do the old filter delay trick. So I'm going to chuck this down, open these bands up, and we'll turn the feedback down. I'm just going to bring the time value of the left side up. And as I do, hopefully this should spread the vocals out for us. So again, this is with it off. 
This, this is with it on. Let's give it some verb. Uh, we'll go for a hybrid reverb. It always sounds nice. Bring the blend down real places. And I just want to do an AB comparison here. So let's create one more audio track. We'll copy this across. We'll group these together. So this is this is the processed audio and this is the unprocessed. So unprocessed. And this is processed. Okay, that's all good, but now I want to do one more thing. Let's try and really mess with it. I'm going to get rid of this and let's get rid of that. And I'm going to make a an audio rack over here on a return channel. And I'm going to add an effect, quite a few of these peels with a different effect for each one. So let's go ahead and add a peel here. And let's just set a range. Let's just go for now here. That's all good. I'm going to group this into an audio track. I'm going to duplicate it. So maybe here, do another one, maybe here, I think I'll do five of these, and we'll do one for the low end. And let's just go ahead and put some really weird effects on these. So I'll just go for, let's just, let's just do a simple echo, that's always a good one. We'll put that on the highs, and I'll put an echo on the these ones as well, but let's change it so it's 16th note dotted. Uh, we'll put a, just a regular... Oh, no, let's do let's do a redux on here. So bring the bits right down. We'll put a regular verb on here. We'll make it nice and big. Turn off the high cut. And yeah, let's just see what happens when I bring the send value up. Back and back and back. Your foot too close to me. Just gonna switch it to pre and bring the volume down so we can hear it wet. Really, really cool. I'm happy with that. Thanks again to Zplane for letting me try out Peel. Make sure you go check out their website. You can find out more, download a free trial, and yeah, links in the description. See ya.